Now let's take a look at businesses where the Ministry of Labour and Social Protection has appealed to the Council of Governors and the Kenya Revenue Authority to consider tax breaks for people with disability operating small businesses. Now the petition ch channeled rather through the State Department of Social Protection and Senior Citizen Affairs called on the players to support disabled traders through tax waivers in the current harsh economic times. Speaking at a stakeholders meeting in Naivasha, the Principal Secretary Joseph Mutari says there has been a spike in the number of households receiving government monthly stipends from 34,000 to 59,000. Without any, any, any payments or taxes. We have upscaled our cash transfer in close, close consultation with our Head of State, His Excellency Dr. William Samuel Ruto. Uh, we have done very well. Uh, this is, um, this is an, a program that we have uh, successfully achieved as a government. Uh, we have upscaled from 1 million all the way to 1.7 million. Motari says plans are underway to shift the registration from household to individual basis to promote equal service distribution. We are working very, very closely with the, with the, with the Council of Persons Living with Disabilities uh, to make sure that we remove the word household into individual based because you can imagine that person who has one one child who is disabled gets the 2000 that one with four or five or six still gets the 2000 the national council for persons with disabilities chief executive harun hassan has said they are working with the ministry of health and cancer to distribute drugs and therapy to over 20,000 disabled patients in different parts of the country we have already mapped almost 20,000 to all the facilities across country for free therapy, for free drugs, and for free incontinency, things like diaper or bowel management uh, across the country. And we are riding on the existing government infrastructure. Already specification has been developed by uh, multi-sectorial engagement. Ian Muse for Lunchtime News.